Well, hello everyone, my fellow Earthlings. Today is the Earth Day. We also celebrate this week as an Earth Week. I was wondering, why do we think of going on some other planet when we are living on one and we can live on it and not just live on it but thrive? All we have to do is just take care of few things. So what we can actually do for Earth? I was also thinking about it. Of course, due to this global pandemic of coronavirus or COVID-19, we are not allowed to go outside and do anything right now. But as soon as this global lockdown is over, we will get a chance to work on it. But how? How an individual can make a difference? How an individual matters? So this curiosity got me to these websites. They show us how each of us can work and make this earth a beautiful tomorrow. So friends, let us have a look at those websites. www.earthday.org Yes, there is a dedicated website for Earth Day itself. They have all the information about the Earth Day over here and what different kinds of activities have been done until now since the day has been started. Yes guys, this is the 50th anniversary of the Earth Day. You can visit this website and understand lots of things which will help you to participate in the activities further. They have a history page for the Earth Day. Uh, it shows why and how the Earth Day was started and uh, until now what all has been done since the first Earth Day. United Nations also have a dedicated page for Earth Day. You can visit www.un.org slash en slash observances slash earth day. So here you can see a picture of a child participating in the plant workshop organized in Peru. And there are articles which mention how different events affect us, our life and earth in different ways globally. I also found this beautiful website called sciencefocus.com. It has a page dedicated to Earth Day or planet Earth and they are saying that 13 things you can do on Earth Day. I would like to say we can do this every day. So uh, there are things like we can go to a beach and clean it. Of course not now but later on we can plant trees, uh, we can buy a bag for life, do not eat meat. Go microbead free, have a walk or go on a bicycle instead of using a gasoline vehicle. Give up on chewing gum, buy a reusable water bottle. Stop using plastic straws, switch all your bills to paperless. Start a compost heap in your garden. And of course what I am doing now is spread the word. Interesting right? Then guys, I came along this website called almanac.com. Okay, it has a, a separate page for Earth Day, date, activities, history. So they are saying celebrating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day from home. So let's see how. Yeah, there is a list of 10 different activities and ideas. Let's see. The first one is support our native bees. Okay, then recycle and repurpose. Plant white flower. Yeah, again the same point. Reduce plastic dependency. Go native. Okay, bring nature into the garden. Start an organic vegetable garden. Conserve water. Plant more trees. Of course, guys, plant more trees and take care of them. Get kids involved. Yes, this will help them get into the habit of taking care of the nature from the childhood itself. Nice idea, right? That's not it guys, actually you can find tons of information on internet, you just have to go and find it. What I did was just go on to google and type in earth day and it gave me this much of information right on the first page. So if all of us take an effort to do something, to find something new and work on it every day, then it is going to make a change. I'm very much confident that uh, on the next Earth Day, I would be ready to speak out something about the activity I, I have done and the result I have got 
and hope every one of you who are watching this video or not watching this video but have done something would be speaking about it the next earth day thank you guys it was nice talking to you i hope everyone get this message in a positive manner and uh, everyone works on it happy earth day and earth week to all of you thank you stay home stay safe